Prepare to transform. Whatever life you choose, prepare to be moved in the all-new Nissan Qashqai. On air, online, and on your smart speaker. Henry Post Jewelers has an exclusive range of pink argyle diamond jewellery in store or online. SAFM News Briefing. Hi, it's Dan Floyd here. The Qantas Sports been facing the music at its annual general meeting today. More than 80% of shareholders rejected the current structure in place to dole out executive pay. If a similar vote plays out at the next AGM, it could lead to a spill motion for the board. Earlier, both Chairman Richard Gorda and CEO Vanessa Hudson admitted there's been a substantial loss of trust in the national carrier. However, Gorda insists his company's over 100 years old and has a history of bouncing back from tough times. Aircraft don't have rear view mirrors, just two big windows facing straight ahead. We have some big challenges in front of us, but we're in a strong position to meet them. The second winner of that $40 million Powerball jackpot's been revealed. A bloke in Cronulla in Sydney took out half of it. The other half went to a syndicate in Melbourne. Former Governor-General and Labor heavyweight Bill Hayden has been farewelled at a state funeral in Queensland. A host of dignitaries and big-name politicians paid their respects. Hayden played a key role in creating Medibank, which eventually evolved into the Medicare system we know today. Crypto bigwig Sam Bankman-Fried has been found guilty in the states of defrauding customers. His company FTX filed for bankruptcy last year. Prosecutors claim he stole eight billion US from customers. His legal team's expected to appeal the verdicts. Also today, Erin Patterson, the 49-year-old woman charged with murder and attempted murder of a suspected mushroom poisoning in regional Victoria earlier this year, has had her case adjourned until May of next year. The Beatles' final song, Now and Then, has already topped the iTunes chart in the US following its release today. Paul McCartney wraps up his Oz tour with a show on the Gold Coast tomorrow. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. <laughs> Take the Pepsi Max Taste Challenge. A bit of movement in the Port Adelaide coaching ranks. Tyson Goldsack's been promoted to an assistant working with the AFL defensive ranks. He coached the club's SANFL side to a finals berth this year. A bold claim from England star Joe Root ahead of tomorrow's World Cup clash against Australia. The batsman says his squad's man for man a better side than us despite sitting bottom of the tournament standings. At practice and qualifying will play out tomorrow for the Brazilian Grand Prix. Red Bull driver Max Verstappen heads into the race with an incredible 16 wins under his belt so far this season. Buying or selling rural or residential properties, Miller, Juan and John. This is SAFM weather. Cloudy on the limestone coast, down to 8 degrees tonight. Tomorrow, cloudy again and 17 degrees. Sunday, 23. Tune into Maggie Dent's new podcast for the Dad's Guide to Nailing It. Download the Listener app and search The Good Enough Dad to listen. <laughs>